right, we are back with Paula Abdul, the Vegas residency. Uh, forever Vegas starting October 22nd. You can buy tickets now. You can see Cameron on The Real Housewives of Dallas. Behind the bar from Temptation Island Season 2, Ben, Dom, and Aiden. Hey, fellas. Yay! Great to see you. Ah. Let's go to <laughs> Stacy from St. Louis. Hey, Stacy, what's your question? Hey, Andy. Go hey. Cardinals. Go Blues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my question is for Cameron. Okay. Cameron, do you honestly think that Deandra has what it takes to turn her company around, or do you think Mama D is going to need to take control again? Deandra completely has what it takes to turn her company around. She is a total girl boss, and when she puts her mind to things, she nails it. So I am not afraid of it whatsoever. She's and I'm rooting for her. I'm yeah. yeah. For her. yeah, yeah we have yeah, her yeah. back. Let's go to Becky from Nevada. Hey, Becky, what's your question? Hi, Andy. I love you. Love you I'm back. Just to that I'm best friends with you and her baby, too. Ah. <laughs> so, Paula, my question is for you. Okay. Uh, was there, there's always so much tension between you and Simon Cowell. Was there anything romantic that ever happened? Did you and Simon actually any ever oh, have no. a date? Or oh, no. Okay. I, I mean... Oh no. On the, t on the topic, Jordan G wants to know, or no, uh, ta no, where is it? Oh, uh, Alyssa K emailed, what was your reaction when America kept voting for um, Sanjaya? Oh, uh, you know what? It's like, like Sanjaya had his moment, and you know, everyone was voting for him because they thought it was fun and they liked him. He's a likable guy, and he's talented too. What can I say? I mean, I, I love that America votes. Yes. Let's go to Vanessa from Georgia. Hey, Vanessa, what's your question? Hi, Andy. OMG, I love you. Hi, Paula. My Hi. question is for Cameron. Okay. Do you think Leanne was overreacting when she compared you and Brandy, excluding her from your talk on the beach, to her being abandoned from her mother? Oh, um, wait, 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 sorry. She compared you to being, ex she compared her being excluded from your conversation with Brandy on the beach to her being abandoned by her oh. mother. I mean, it was a little extreme that she threw that out there. I, I do believe that, yeah. I mean, she could have kept that for another moment. I, I liked, I yeah. really liked your reconciliation yeah. with Brandy on the beach. It seemed yeah, very see, yeah. heartfelt yeah, and it, it I, I thought it was really, Positive. Yeah, I yeah, like that. I love that. Brandy. I yeah. Mean, yeah we're that's in great. Place. That's great. great to hear. Um, Tom G wants to know, Paula, how is it you ended up in the Sasha Baron Cohen movie? Oh, God. Bruno, did you really have no idea that you were getting scammed? Not only did I have n no idea, I thought when I showed up, uh, look, I heard I was getting an International Artist of the Year award. I'm going to show up. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I showed up. I wanted to get that award. And some crazy freak answered the door in clear plastic pants with a jock strap, blush on his face and, and a hat. And I went, oh, this is probably like when I go to Japan and do those weird Japanese game Commercial. shows. Oh, okay, yeah, right. so I kind of, and I, I, it was right before a live taping. So I was dressed, you know, ready to go straight to yes. American Idol. They kept everyone out. So their I, hair and makeup wasn't allowed. My publicist wasn't allowed. And the craziest thing was happening. He was summoning the gardeners for furniture, because there was no furniture. Right. And he's saying, sit. Uh, and I, I'm like, oh my God. And I was in an Hervé Leger dress, and I was squatting down, and I don't know, my reaction was I started petting the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kicked him and fell down, and then I fell down. And then, then he told me to put on a, a Velcro suit and run up against the Did wall. Did you ever think it was a scam? No, or? no, no. <laughs> it's, this is the best part. So. When I left, I said, I've got to go. I, I've got to go. Because when they started serving sushi on naked um, sumo wrestlers, it was right. time for me to leave. And I'm, I'm leaving to go out. I didn't care about the award. I just want to get out of yeah, there. Yeah. And he was chasing after the car and threw the award in the car. And now, this is the truth. Right after that, I said, thank God nothing, you didn't sign any, any agreement. Because thank God. My, and my publicist my then publicist oh. says, oh, I had to. And it was, it was in, it's in German. I'm like, you what? And then we call, immediately I called Marty Singer, litigator. Yes, yes. Time. Okay? And he tried calling the number, disconnected, disconnected. I was on pins and needles for like, seriously, two months. I thought this Thinking, crazy. what is this going to be? This? What is Right? This? And then I forget all okay. about it. And then nine months later, I just, I get a call from my new publicist yes. and, and management. And they go, um, 
we're getting requests from People Magazine and ET about working with Sasha Baron Cohen. I went, I've never met Sasha Baron Cohen. And I, they go, yeah, well, we, we think you would have told us if. Right, I said, right. I don't even know what you're talking about. And then more requests were, getting, were coming in. What, what was it like working? I'm going, I haven't worked with Sasha Baron Cohen. I think he's genius, but I haven't worked with him. Okay, now smash cut to, I'm sleeping. <laughs> in the middle of the night, two o'clock in the morning, I woke up in the pool of sweat. And I went, oh, and I went to the computer and I typed in Sasha Baron Cohen and there's that freak with the hat and the blush no, and the busting pants. And I went, ah, and it was a week before the opening. I wasn't even invited. To the, the, I wasn't even invited. I, I was Would done. Would you have gone? I'll show up at any I time. I love you. That's great. So let me ask you this. When you saw, when you saw the I mean, did you ever see the movie? Oh, my God. Yeah. The did opening you, scene was so enough for me. Were you embarrassed then, or did you think, oh, this is no. funny, and did you? This is even better. Okay. There's this, the promos that they were showing commercials. All of a sudden, he's getting waxed at, at, at this place called Pink Cheeks. Okay. And she's my waxer. And, wow. he, and he was getting his balls waxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, oh, my God, she got punk, too. And then I called Cindy at Pink Cheeks. I said, oh, my God, we're both in the movie. And she goes, I didn't even get invited to premiere. Me neither. <laughs> That's awesome. Paula, love you to death. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.